Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. This time I'm gonna be flying from Geneva to Sion entirely in Switzerland and just basically a corner of Switzerland uh, along the Rhone River Valley so it should be very scenic and to take in the sights I've decided to go with a slower plane and this is a Phoenix U15 and it looks like this. It's an ultralight, it's not technically a glider. Uh, I thought about using a glider for this flight but um, I, I thought I wanted something that would be powered by itself. I don't know. It's complicated uh, scoring whether you've got 80 planes when there are two planes involved in the flight. So anyway, I didn't want to get into that mess. So we're flying this. I'm not going to be turning the engine off uh, to glide or anything. Uh, though it's possible to do so. But yeah, it's a cute plane. It's got a nice interior. Uh, this is a payware plane, though not expensive. So, yeah, we are going to continue to listen to the Apollo 12 audio where the astronauts are still preparing to make their landing on the moon. They have not separated the command and service module from the lunar module yet, or vice versa. Uh, so, I'm going to press play. And let's take off here. Okay, and uh, we need our uh, CSM consumables if you can to us, please. I might okay, not have wanted to that, select uh, this particular waiting, livery. Plan update for you on the Framoro pictures and also your Rev 11 map update. Very nice. I'm not even at full throttle or anything. I'm at 75 percent. Uh, Roger. Uh, while you're copying, give us poo and accept, and we have some up uplinks for you. So again, plan update is Framoro photos. You got it. Phoenix U15 is the plane's three, name. Zero, two, six. Tango 2 is 1023227. Tango Charlie Alpha is 1023258. The optimum position in the window will come at 1023139. Over. I don't seem to have my little plug-in active. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I just got the map open. Uh, Roger, Dick. Uh, your calm just improved. You must have moved your mic closer to your mouth. Flight plan update for uh, Rev 11. Rev 11, map update. LOS 1030201. 1, 1032634. 1034744. Roger, copy. I don't know. Okay, Delivery's not working for me. If you're ready to, copy. to hold on a sec. I think I can change delivery. Red stripes okay, might be a little bit better. GET is one zero one plus zero zero. RCS total six oh, dear. Nine point two. Uh, six eight point five. I might have to create my own livery for this plane. <laughs> I'll take this for now. Charlie six six. Point niner. Delta. I feel like some six sort of daredevil, niner, but okay. Point six. Hydrogen is six four point four and six one point five. Oxygen is six three point six and six five point seven. Over. I mainly picked up this plane in a sale because of the right, interior. I just light the interior. It's amazing it carries two people, actually. It's not too slow, either. I think it's got the same engine like every ultralight ends up having. I'll try and find the name of that engine, but... Roger, uh, before you slipped into the pad last night, uh, we didn't get your onboard readouts. We need your pyro batteries and your bat C readouts. 
Ah yes, the Rotax 912. The Rotax 912 ends up in like every ultralight, including this one. Um, they've made 50,000... Well, not... They, uh, they, they reached 50,000 of those engines in 2014, so they're probably like at 100,000 by now. Um, but if you go to the Wikipedia page on the Rotax 912... Uh, Barry, all the batteries, batteries, battery, 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 There's like a list of more than 100 planes that have it. Thank you, Dick. I mean, they're all light, you know, obviously. The, the engine produces about 80 horsepower, depending on the version. It's 80 to 100 horsepower. Apollo 12, Houston, the computer is yours. You've got a new state vector and a new refs map. All right. This plane has an empty weight of only 295 kilograms. The gross weight is 472.5 kilograms. So it's a good thing that I I'm Astronaut fairly trim. Astronaut Car is <laughs> capsule communicator at this time, uh, having relieved Astronaut Don Lind in that position. If we really wanted to carry two people in here, uh, well, you know. <laughs> They'd better be on a diet, or otherwise lightweight. Hello, Houston 12. Go ahead, 12. I'm not sure I understand what people want. Uh, 12, Houston, uh, did you ask about uh, option one on your P-52? Well, the Wikipedia page says its cruise speed is 130 knots. Oh, that's affirmative. So I'm going to push the throttle all the way up and see. Okay. It's got a red line at 120 something though. I think I'll I'll pull it back from that. We'll go with 120 maybe. Uh, 12 Houston affirmative, and uh, we're getting good comparisons within a couple hundred feet. Good show. Roger. These uh, these are downrange comparisons. Understand. I guess if Dick nails that 193 like or 191 like he did the other one last night, uh, the only excuse will be mine if we don't make it. Roger, Pete. So looking at the map, technically we're over France now, <laughs> and the uh, city we're uh, about to fly over is Dovin. Dovin. I mean that. I, uh, if I was to pronounce all the letters, it's Do uh, Dovin, probably. Uh, I, I'm guessing that I should drop half of them, or more than I normally would. Roger, Roger uh, your S-band uh, communications uh, on the previous two revs haven't uh, been too sterling. We've had a couple cases where your uh, signal strength has dropped off and uh, come back up again. We'd like to... Uh, do the rest of this pass using your secondary servo electronics. Maybe we should and, stay in uh, Switzerland. See if that doesn't uh, avoid the problem again. Now what you'll have to do is take your track mode and go to manual with that. And then your servo electronics to secondary. And then reacquire. Over. Basically the French-Swiss border goes right in the middle of Lake Geneva. Except Switzerland has all of the city of Geneva, so down by Geneva, they have the full breadth of the lake. But then, for most of Lake Geneva, they only have the northern half, which we are headed to right now. We're fleeing back to Switzerland. Houston 12, Henry. 
12, Houston, lot clearing. Okay, we switched to secondary. I noticed uh, I was watching it uh, just before uh, we went around the horn on the last pass. And uh, when we were within uh, all six, seven minutes of LOS, uh, the antenna just started driving itself and the signal strain started falling off. Uh, the antenna was sort of wandering around. And I don't know whether that would be the electronics or perhaps some, something else that's influencing the antenna. Well, we'll look forward to get on this path. Uh, Roger, I guess that's about what we're thinking, Pete. Uh, that's why we recommended your secondary servo electronics. pad and a TEI 34 pad for you. City back there okay, on the yeah, left yeah. wing is Neon. N-Y-O-N. Then there's a town called Gland, which is sort of where my propeller is okay, right now. Roger. Gland DSM is an interesting uh, name for a place. This is for LOPC number one or for rescue. The CSM weight is three six. I suppose it should seven, be Glond. Eight, six. Maybe I don't know. Pitch minus point seven eight. Yaw plus point four three. Over. Roger. Copy for the plate change or rescue. Weight three six seven eight six. Trim minus decimal seven eight. Uh, affirmative. TEI 34 follows. Maneuver pad, SPS GNN. The weight is 3, 6, zero, They have to go through zero, a lot of these zero, uh, pads and now 48, sets of information zero, in preparation seven, for zero, the landing and, and plus, whatever aborts zero, they might three, need to do three, if it turns out that things go wrong. And then four, information four, about what they're supposed to be doing on the four, moon and all that, eight, too. Five, two, it's a big section in the nine, flight eight, plan. One, plus three, one, one, eight, six. Plus zero, four, zero, niner, one. Minus zero, one, three, one. Three. Some of it can't be really determined until World they figure out exactly what orbit the one, service module and the, uh, the whole spacecraft got into yeah. around the moon. NA. The rest of the pad is NA. Your all is four jets, 11 seconds. Over. I should fly a little bit lower just so we can see the traffic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throttle down a bit. What's going on down there in the world today, dear? Gee, I don't know, Pete. I just got here myself. Uh, we'll have a news brief for you real shortly. We're about halfway through Lake Geneva, and then we get follow, to follow, follow the Rhone River uh, now, into the mountains. The 
Uh, we're pretty busy right now. We'll give you a call back. Okay. Pete, uh, news coverage on your flight's beginning to pick up as uh, the touchdown gets a little closer here. Uh, I guess most of the reports, reports right now are about your uh, medical ailments. You know, the code to the <laughs> of all, all that things. Stuff. Uh, Joseph P. Kennedy uh, died peacefully today without regaining consciousness from a heart attack. And uh, in the Senate today, the vote for the confirmation of Judge Hainsworth has been tentatively set for noon Friday. And on the stock market uh, business world, the stock market uh, dropped six points yesterday and rebounded a little bit today with the averages up about 2.64. In international news, the United States and Soviet Union met yesterday in Finland for what President Nixon called momentous negotiations to seek agreement on ways to limit production on their arsenals of war. Uh, local news, the University of Houston accepted a bid to play Auburn in the Astro Blue Bonnet Bowl on New Year's Day. And in the weather world, the weather here in Houston is really miserable. We've had sh showers most of the day. The uh, temperature started out uh, this morning uh, fairly warm and has been plummeting all day. and. Uh, it's in the low 50s right now. This is the city of Morgas. I got a little M -O -R -G -E -S. piece out of the uh, Gives the bowl games at a glance. The uh, Rose Bowl game uh, looks like that's going to be decided who's playing in it uh, this next weekend. Uh, it's either going to be Southern Cal or UCLA. And that park with a track in it is called Park de Sport. In the Rose in the Orange Bowl, which is appropriate. It's uh, settled Sports out now park. with Penn State playing Missouri. In the Cotton Bowl. Notre Dame has accepted a bid to the Cotton Bowl, and they're going to be either playing Texas or Arkansas, whoever wins that game, uh, I think it's December the 6th. And the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, it'll be uh, <coughs> Mississippi versus whoever loses the Texas-Arkansas game. In the Blue Bonnet Bowl, I gave you that one already, the Peach Bowl will be uh, South Carolina, and they haven't picked a team to play them yet. In the Gator Bowl, will be Tennessee versus Florida. In the Tangerine Bowl, Davidson versus Toledo. And in the Sun Bowl, Georgia's going to play Nebraska. Okay, well, I can see cars and on the highway now. Well covers some of the more Trying important levels. Out. Roger, I uh, still like to square something late down there. Al doesn't have a cold. All I got the one in. And I don't consider that any big major medical problem. As a matter of fact, we're in pretty damn good shape. Roger, Pete. City of Ecublens, E C U B L E N S. There's all. Uh, 12 Houston, uh, Al's Biomed still looks a little bit ratty. There's a bunch of cities here. Busigny. Okay, we're, we're, we're spiking them up here. We're just getting into the LCGs and stuff now. And, and uh, I mean, we're just getting them out of stowage and everything. And uh, uh, we'll work him over and see if we can clean him up. He may have a loose lead. He's been in and out of his uh, harness a couple of times during the night. Okay, it looks like a loose lead down here. Uh, give us a call when you've got him adjusted, and we'll tell you how it looks. It is Renens. And I think the next city up ahead is the largest one of the bunch. Lausanne. Still looking pretty squirrely, Pete. 
Okay, and up ahead we can see where the Rhone River heads into, well, it heads out of the mountains, really. It's coming in the opposite direction that we're traveling in. And so we're gonna go up there. 12 Houston, go. Try and get the nice view here. Uh, no. Roger, How do I go down? Tickled to hear that. I feel like I've adjusted the rudder trim instead of what I wanted. Uh, no, it looks pretty good, huh? This is good. Unlike a real glider, this doesn't have the flap overextension thing where... Pete Conrad reporting that uh, they had gotten the photographs of Fra Marl, the proposed landing site for Apollo 13, which will be commanded by astronaut Jim Lovell. A glider flaps actually go up, not exactly the way spoilers do. Uh, that's meant to allow them to go faster and uh, sort of... Um, basically go faster <laughs> instead of gliding as much they sacrifice altitude for speed with that Apollo 12 Houston uh, Roger got some words from the families uh, Dick uh, I just uh, talked to uh, Barbara and she's been resting up uh, they're taking naps and everything getting all set for spending the night up with you and Barbara said to tell you that uh, she thinks you're just great. <laughs> sure hope so. Well, tell her thank you after 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you listening? Uh, negative, Jared, or get from their LCG. Okay, uh, when they get back up on the hook, uh, give you me a call. Okay, uh, we'll have to check in as soon as they come up. Okay. And, uh, I'm doing a maneuver for 102.50 right now, Jerry. Roger, copy. Okay. So actually in uh, Flight Sim, I think the very first photo scenery I ever got was of Switzerland. Uh, For obvious reasons, line. very dynamic sort of place. Okay Pete, I uh, talked to Jane just a few minutes ago and she said the family's all doing fine in their... Very nice landscapes. Say again? Tough to get right too. Okay, go. Roger Pete, just talked to Jane a few minutes ago. She said the family's all doing just fine and... Uh, they're all getting rested up to spend the night up watching you guys. And obviously with the fo uh, the freeware right, ortho you guys, scenery. Well, yeah, the doctor's working the biomed. I'm in my LCG now all hooked up. Your biomed looks real good. Yeah, the freeware ortho scenery with ortho 4 XP has okay, discontinuities as you can see now. from the landscape up ahead. And, uh, so not perfect. That's affirmative. Uh, we agree with that too, Pete.
Okay, he'll be back up in a minute. Okay. Houston, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, check my file head now. Passing by the town of Vevey. That's right there. But there's the river valley. Very tight sort of thing. Uh, just in case it's not clear, these white spots on the lake are quite a lot of boats. Uh, 12, Houston, Probably uh, more than there ought to be. Uh, still looking noisy. It looks just like a loose connection. Don't really know what you could do more than just tighten them up. We've tightened uh, both the top and bottom ones several times. I think uh, maybe that's just the way it's going to be. Yep. Our visibility just went down. I still got uh, real world you, uh, weather on. Your sensors to see if they were dry and, uh, and really, really pick them off and look at them, or did you just kind of punch them on? It's a good time of year to have real world weather on if you want a nice calm flight. The sensors, uh, they might be dry. I didn't look under them at all. Just uh, check the connections like you requested. Roger. Houston, uh, we're about one minute from a handover to Goldstone. There may be an interruption here. So this river valley is like one of my favorites to fly up. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's not visible up ahead right now, but there's this one peak that's very prominent right in front of us. Eventually. Uh, it sort of seems like we're flying towards it until we hang a left. I always feel like these little towns are so lucky. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what it's like living in little towns in a valley like this. Roger, uh, Al's biomed uh, looks pretty bad. Uh, uh, the medical people suggest that you uh, try on one of your sensors, try some new se a new seal and some new paste under it. We'll see what that does. Which one? Oh, pick the top one. Uh, that'll be okay. Okay. It's weird on the visibility. You can sort of see a mountain there if I tilt the camera like this, and then here, it's not visible. I don't like that. Um, uh, Al, while you're cutting and pasting there, uh, are you listening? 12 statute miles seems okay. Just the way it's doing it is annoying. Go ahead. I'm just gonna pass up some words from Sue when he listens next time. Let me see if turning this off. No, that didn't do anything. Okay, yeah, we'll get him on the line after a while. Okay. See, uh, the, 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 the mountains are suddenly popping in. I mean, come on. Come on. That's no fun. But, like I said, real world weather, and I'll just go with it. That doesn't seem to be happening quite right. And here we have an unfortunate texture scene. Roger, we copied your uh, star angle. Yeah, the peak that I was talking about still hasn't appeared, which is just really strange. Oh, I give up. I don't want to fly down this. Uh, no, that's fine. Do you have those? 
Sure do, Dick. Uh, it's pretty good for on-the-job training. Customize. The visibility is getting worse. I'll manually configure it and let's give ourselves a little bit more, shall we? Roger. Okay, well, it's just coming into visibility right now, the one peak that I was talking about. Uh, it's so foggy out there. Roger, Dick. Uh, you rec recommend we glitch him like that every time? No, sir. Not at all. This plane is actually uh, check built. So from the Czech Republic. It is in production. Okay, Houston, I'm about looking at Al now. There are a lot of planes that are made by the Czech Republic. Roger, please stand by. We'll probably see one or two more during this whole 80 planes thing. Uh, yeah. Well, Houston, uh, if you can uh, work on that lower sensor now, we'd like you to get them both if you can. If you can, uh, can only do one, do the lower sensor, and we'd like to have a look at you before you go LOS at, in 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Another one that's on the list is the Vector EV-55. That's also a check plane. That one will probably be flying closer to the Czech Republic. This is Apollo Control. We have about seven and a half minutes so, to a loss of signal. Going Apollo forward, we will double back and go over Germany, by the way. News Center at about 5.30 this afternoon, Central Standard Time. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly down south to uh, Italy and Rome, and then go across to Venice, and then go up to Austria, and then up into Germany, and then... We're going to actually end up in Amsterdam, so we're actually sort of doubling back a bit in that one, going a little bit further west, and then heading northeast from there, Copenhagen and, uh, okay, and uh, the Scandinavia and so forth. What happens to this little canal here? Uh, well, it's just an uh, end right it's there. A little bit improved. What'd you do that time? Just what you said, change the lower one out. It seems to be improving now, Pete. I guess we'll just have to live with what, what we can get here. There you go, that's the words I want to hear. We're on our way. Bye-bye. <laughs> we'll just have to live with it. Okay, good times. He does not want to fiddle around with it anymore. So there's that peak right in the front, 12, Houston. very prominent. Not the tallest around, but because there's nothing immediately around it, it's sort of isolated. Uh, Roger, uh, makes I'd it like very to interesting. That third biomed sensor, and uh, we'll just that'll be the. Don't end know of what it's called though. What third one? The one on the top? That's a permanent. Okay. Al, you listening? Okay, Al, I uh, talked to Sue a little while ago, and uh, they're also doing fine at home. They're resting up, getting ready for tonight. Oh, fair by. Fair by. Okay. I feel like these wires on the ground are a little bit too prominent, maybe. I don't know if they'd be so visible. 
somewhat ruin the landscape like this. I think we found a problem. The one, uh, one we just pulled off on the top while dry down. Roger. They're rejoicing in the streets here. Yeah, you can see it's a very interesting peak. And then we hang a left right here, right in front of it. It's like really formidable. <laughs> very daunting peak Follow that forbids us to pass from, uh, LOS. entire and, river uh, acid turn. Are all looking good now. And we'll see you at uh, 103.47, over. Back, 103.47. Uh, this city in front of us is Martigny. That's, again, a heck of a place to put a city. It's very interesting sort of location. Definitely approve. And then we turn left. I mean, it's like a 90 degree turn to the left. You can sort of see some light up ahead that's indicative of this the Apollo control. We've airport. Of signal now on the 10th revolution. We'll so be reacquiring Apollo 12. we're close to landing 45 now. 45 minutes, 48 seconds on the 11th rev. The change of shift uh, press conference is scheduled to occur uh, shortly after 5.30 in the news center, building one. At uh, 103 hours, 2 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control, 103 hours, 56 minutes, ground elapsed time. Apollo 12 has come around the front side of the moon on the 11th revolution. We had acquisition of signal at 103.47 about uh, nine minutes ago. Al Bean has moved into the lunar module, Intrepid. He went in at uh, 103.40 about 17 minutes ago. We have an accumulation of tape, uh, a few seconds of tape actually that have built up during the time the changes have built up. A few seconds of tape built one. up. <laughs> so we'll roll that tape now and join the uh, subsequent conversation during this pass across the face of the moon as uh, we play back the tape after the tape is complete. One zero six. Two, four, <laughs> and immediately four. we have numbers without context, okay. One, zero, six, two, niner, five, niner, south, one, eight, over. Uh, Roger, copy, T1, one, zero, six, two, four, five, four, T2, one, zero, six, two, I swear, two, Abin does not nine. sound Southeast. quite as good as he did before. Uh, oh, that's Dick, okay, well that explains it. That was okay, our status is pretty good right he's, now. he's not sounding great either, to be honest. Over in the lab. He's been over there Sounds a little bit hoarse. Uh, we've got everything rigged in the command module. Pete's uh, getting on his PGA. And as soon as he does that, we'll be right back in business. Roger, Dick. Well, Houston, uh, when you get to it, uh, we need a docking tunnel angle. Docking Three, tunnel uh, angle. No wonder is his voice is hoarse. He keeps telling them things. Okay, still hasn't changed. Thank you. And they keep. How, how would the docking tunnel angle have changed? Out, I don't know. Twelve of those latches, mate. Would you set your clock, Al? Yeah? Houston, the trumpet. 
In traffic, Houston, go. Roger, down at the lip now, everything is ship shape. Uh, just pull back the window shades and uh, both of the windows are uh, well frosted over. We'll Next later. flight should be uh, even I'm more scenic. I'm going to be flying a Pilatus oh, Roger, down to Milan. Uh, Pilatus is a Swiss company, so that's appropriate. And it's also very well suited for the kind of flight that we're going to do. Uh, good lift. This is Apollo Control. That completes uh, the few seconds of tape. Uh, it's a Pilatus PC-6. Of the beginning of the 11th Lunar Revolution. Okay, time to go into we'll the Oh god, I need to fix my view. This revolution, which ends in one hour and okay. 13 seconds. That's doable. Staying up live on air to ground circuit. Stall speed on this is, it said 35 knots, but indicated on my uh, speedometer there, it looks more like 42-ish. See the runway up ahead. Houston Apollo, uh, Apollo 12. 12 Houston, go. Okay, out in the hall, suited, and I'm on the CSM system. Will you take a look at the bio bed and everything? How's that look? Doctor says it looks very good. Yeah. Okay. On the Lim S band, how do you hear? Uh, Intrepid, this is Houston. Uh, reading you slightly weaker than uh, the normal and uh, fairly clear. I wonder if this thing has air brakes. Oops, that's not what I wanted uh, to Roger. do. It does. Tiny little ones, but it does. That's good. Uh, let's get back into here before I shift that up again. Houston, we're copying your low bit rate. Roger. How much wind do we have around here? Eleven knots. But not in a horrible direction. Also, my system engineer's butt motion now is 26.9. You want me to go to high cap? I think this is good. I understand your FP bus is 26.9er. I don't know if this has flaps at all. Uh, a little bit, it looks like. Difficult to read. Did you say commander's bus 28? Perfect, two-way, the system engineer, 26.9, uh, the one we go over to high-level staff there. Roger, stand by, Al. The wing's got a lot of lift, so it's pretty imperative that I get as slow as possible. Intrepid, Houston, Unlike uh, my normal way of doing things. That we copy on F -band antenna. Otherwise, we are going to bounce. And okay, Houston, and I just. Uh, I'll just probably still bounce, minutes, I don't know. And uh, right after I did it, I got a program alarm 12. Hi, Intrepid Houston, uh, that's expected, no problem. Press on. People make a big deal of the program alarms okay. on Apollo 11, but these guys get program alarms all the time. <laughs> Nobody, nobody ever mentions it. Uh, master warnings, okay, program you alarms. Self-check, okay? Roger, Pete. Roger, Houston. Uh, 
how do you read uh, Yankee Clipper? Intrepid on DHF B. Intrepid Yankee Clipper, loud and clear. How do you read me, uh, Yankee Clipper? Loud and clear. Okay, let's go to uh, Simplex A. I just Simplex A. A little bit of a hop. Okay, but not bad. Uh, light brakes. Uh, light brakes. I don't want to tip forward. Okay, uh, Yankee Clipper, out of your reason. Oh, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Don't like when these tail dragons go squirrely on me. No, 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 give me one of the Oh, that taxi will look good. Three, six. That's four. Yeah, that's good. All right, we have arrived at Sion in the middle of the Swiss Five, Alps. Four, three, two, one, mark. One hundred four, three six. Okay, now let's get nice a little general aviation five. corner over here. I mean, this airport probably okay, does a whole lot of gliders and general okay, aviation. On, on my mark, we'll take the time. Four, three, two, one. Mark. So I'll just park right in front here and I'm gonna pause the audio right there and there's they're gonna be getting ready for making their their move towards the surface for a while that's a lot of those little cirruses I like those uh, but anyway, uh, with this I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you, uh, th th those planes are almost clipping each other. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.